no, I think we're gonna go go. Oh, we're gonna go live. But we're going I always, live. We are. Do you see? Do you see the yeah. icon that says yeah. live? Okay. Yeah. Hi everyone. Uh, it, it, it's a little bit of the delay on my part, uh, and I'm going to turn on. Yeah. There you go. So now, Jimbo, can you still hear me? I'm good. Awesome. Yeah. It's just a little bit of a delay. So, but I, I try to, I have to turn off my Facebook page because usually the sound, there's a delay in sound, but yep. I can hear you and I'm super excited. Everybody who is watching us and who is going to be watching us later, um, we, you are actually uh, watching the series of Jana cast, as I call them, um, it's Dream Big with Jana, inspiring you to reignite, refire, and refuel your life. And today, I can't wait to introduce my guest because it's Jimbo Marshall. If you guys, you haven't seen it yet, but it's going to come very soon. All my videos, professionally done videos, were done by this amazing gentleman and his crew. <laughs> so let me introduce Jimbo uh, very quickly with the official bio, and then I'll add my personal flavor to that, and we'll dive into the conversation. So Jimbo Marshall is the creative director of Hell Yes Studios, a division of Suzanne Evans. Jimbo is an accomplished video producer of over 500 infomercials shot for discovery on the Great Wall of China and in a shark tank in South Africa. How cool is that? Just that piece. He has <laughs> produced videos for over 1,000 online entrepreneurs and considers himself to be one of the funniest working video producers known to mankind, which I totally can testify for, you know, <laughs> just like, absolutely, it was such a pleasure to work with you, Jimbo, uh. and everything, <laughs> guys, if you go, I mean, I will, I hope you're going to share uh, the information on how to find you, because I want everybody to see your personal videos before yeah. you got into the coaching space and all yeah. of that, because he is truly the funniest guy you will ever see. And he's so authentic in the videos. And that's the art and the science of doing that, which hopefully he's going to reveal a little bit of the secret. We are going to give it away. <laughs> okay. Steve, we're really, really super happy that you could find the time to be with us. So. Well, well, listen, first of all, it is my absolute pleasure. You were absolutely a sweetheart, a doll, an amazing person to work with. And, you know, one of the things I always try to convince people is that it actually doesn't matter if you're good at your craft. And I know that sounds crazy, but what really matters is that you're likable that you feel approachable, that you feel authentic, that you feel friendly because no one wants to sign up for depression, yeah. right? <laughs> Regardless of how heavy your topic, if you're a divorce coach or a, a grief counselor or something like that, that's okay. And you do a wonderful thing in the world, but people want to buy into some hope that there is a light at the end of that tunnel. So, you know, half of my battle is really trying to get people to understand that when they get in front of that camera, they have to emote. And you did such a wonderful job and I'm super proud of your videos. Thank you, it was so easy with you because yeah. uh, you guys, seriously, right from the start, I wanna say that Jimbo, you, I had an amazing experience because you make people comfortable on the set. Wow. On the professional set, Thank there's you. a lot of lighting, there's a lot, yeah. there's a lot <laughs> of uh, preparation for that. But once you're in, if you, like you have a gift to really relax uh, people and, and really, help them to show up the best they are yeah, to well, so that people that. can see the, the personality. So um, first question, what got you into videos? Can you tell a little bit about the backstory? Like yeah, it, I, I, I failed out of accounting class. Okay. <laughs> in, in all seriousness, I remember being in high school and taking a theater class and having this moment where I was doing this scene from Pretty in Pink, I played Ducky. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie, but it's a great movie. John Hughes, Molly Ringwald, it's a classic high school type movie. And I just remember thinking, 
oh my gosh, people actually do this <laughs> for money. And then it kind of evolved and I loved being behind the scenes. But to be honest with you, because that's, you know, you said I was authentic. I think in my early 20s, I got scared of being seen. I got petrified of being judged and I just went behind the camera. Fast forward many years later, I ended up in front of the camera in a series called Mr. Deity. I play Larry's Larry, God's assistant. It's kind of a show on YouTube and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It actually became a, a pretty big deal. And then that really allowed me to even get in front of the camera again and make uh, videos that, you know, were really aimed at the coaching industry. Because once I found the coaching dis industry, I discovered it in 2009, in nine, uh, 2009 I got hired by Lisa Sasevich to do uh, her first big solo event. It's called Big Mission, Big Sales, Big Life. And I was the camera guy in the back. She hired me you know, to, to run cameras and make a DVD product and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I was blown away by the content. I had never heard anything like this before. Mm -hmm. And just from a mindset point of view, and, and it was scary and it was exciting. And I was like, it was the first time in my life that I was like, what is my mind doing? Right. Am I done learning? And then I, started evolving from there and I started making these little videos that were just fun and, and kind of aimed at the coaching industry and I made up characters and that's actually what Suzanne saw first and she just wrote me an email and basically said we have to meet I these videos are cracking me up and we met <clears throat> and literally about uh, less than a year later we went into business together and formed Hell Yeah Studios that's kind of the short condensed version yeah and, and I spend 95% of my time at events, working with solo entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs with smaller teams here in the studio or on the West Coast shooting their videos. So it's really, you know, I've been blessed to, you know, I was with Lisa for eight years and, you know, I've been with, I shot for David Nagel and, you know, Mary Morrissey and some of the big people and, and you know, of course, right. Suzanne, I do. Um, but it's really allowed me to not only create great videos, but, you know, understand marketing frontwards and backwards, just like what needs to go into a video, how simple it actually can be. And what, you know, the thing I try to impress upon my clients, and, and I'm sure I said this to you, every video, we always start with the goal. If you don't know why you're making it, much like if you don't know why you're in business, it's just hard to make it successful. Mm -hmm. But as, as soon as you know the goal of the video, so in other words, if we produce this correctly and we did it 100% what we were supposed to be doing, the end user, we would know exactly what they were supposed to do when they watch that video. It sounds kind of simple, but if you're not clear on those goals of each video, they can go, they tend to go a little bit too long Maybe you talk about yourself too much. Maybe it's kind of random or you're using jargon and they don't really land because people aren't clear on what they're supposed to do. And as you know, the internet is so crowded. You just don't have time to waste. So. What, what the bad, oh, I have tons of questions and, and it, that's for, 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 for the people who are watching. Yeah. So, so first of all, what's the length of the video and we're trying talking about the business owners, right? Or yes, any, absolutely. And, and of course, you know, I have a tendency, Jimbo, I have to tell you right away. I, I, I usually ask questions in batches of two, and then you can Good. pick and you can pick the first one you want to answer and then jump into the second. Got it. Because it's tied up. So what's the length and what are the types of videos? Because I know you so knowledgeable about that, that yeah. you can maybe share that in info with us. Absolutely. I'm more than happy to. So if you're watching this, get out your pen and paper, because these are going to be notes that you can really use like tactical yeah. type stuff. So for length, here's the general rule of thumb, 500 words mm -hmm. equals about three minutes. And as you know, cause we work together, yeah. I always encourage my clients to write scripts. It's really a mandatory thing. And I'll, say more to that in just a minute. <clears throat> Most of the time, you don't need to go more than three minutes. 
The reason is actually pretty simple. If you've identified the goal, the goal is generally a, one of two things. It's, it's either going to be to get them to opt in, right? So it's like an opt-in video for a free gift, right? Or a, a gift mm -hmm. as we've established. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um, and listen, you don't need three minutes to get that done. I mean, if, if you can't let them know why they should join you in about two minutes on a good opt-in, two and a half, you know, some people are going to do three and that's okay. But, it, but if it takes you five minutes to tell them why they need to join you, they've probably already jumped back to Facebook and they're looking at what Sally had for lunch, right? So Jimbo, I, just yeah. may, I, may I interrupt for a second? Absolutely. For those who are just starting out in business, they might not know what the opt-in is. For right. those who are advanced, yeah, they know. The opt-in is the front page of your website where mm -hmm. you can see you, you have the box, right? And it says your name, the email, sometimes the phone number. You want to bring these people into your world somehow. Mm -hmm. And you give away something, it gives the, them the reason to join you and follow you. So the video is one of the ways to attract them because they can see you not only to, uh, the written word is good, but this is going to be the uh, question number three. Why videos are more like, would you recommend videos over yeah. the written word or they are supplementary? So, well, but yeah, one step at a time. Yeah, I always say, video doesn't happen in a vacuum, meaning video is always going to be combined with text. So let me give you just a, a, an example. Let's say we've got a, a, a health and wellness coach, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and they've got a website. And a lot of people, if they, if they aren't in our marketing world here, they may say, that's my homepage, that's my landing page, perhaps. I always encourage my clients to say that's your opt-in page because like you alluded to, the goal is to get their name and email yeah. onto your list. If they come there one time and they don't sign up, the chances of them coming back are pretty slim to none because it's just, it's a haystack, right? Yeah. The, the world, the World Wide web is so crowded. So, the reason video works so well with text, and we'll go back to our, our health coach, you could have just a headline that says, are you ready to lose the weight once and for all? Anybody that's ever had a weight problem, they know exactly. They know exactly what you're about. Now the video gives you a chance to put that personality and that face to it. And it's to develop the know, like, and trust, right? We all mm -hmm. know about the know, like, and trust. Mm -hmm. And it can be as simple as, hey there, I know why you're here. You're sick and tired of those extra pounds. And maybe you're counting points every time you eat a meal and you're just sick of it. You've dealt with this extra weight for longer than you would like to admit. And I get it and I can help you right away. But I am going to ask you to take action. Just enter your name and email. And I want to send you a gift to get you started. This gift is going to get you started immediately on the road to success. So enter your name and email below and I'll see you on the other side. See you Simple. guys. I mean, I'm blown away by, by <laughs> how fast you create Simple. all those videos. <laughs> so that's so. a very simplified version, right? I mean, people watching, if you don't have that, you can go out with your phone and shoot that right now, right? Because here's what's going to happen. Now, ultimately, I'll go over the types of video and what yeah. types I think should be professionally shot. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, somebody's going to like you or they don't. Mm -hmm. And we want that. That's one of the greatest things. I mean, the people watching today, they're either going to like me or they don't. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I, would rather, I would rather them know that they don't like me than kind of just go, eh, he's okay. Right. I want to create raving fans because I know if I can create a fan, they'll buy from me. Right. And, and that's the key here. So that's kind of the idea of an opt in and why I relate it to the goal. Every video should have a goal. Let's go over the types of videos yes. that I think you should have. And I'll start with the ones that I believe you should have professionally done. And the reason I believe you should have these professionally done, whether it's with me or someone else, 
is because these are generally first impressions and what we would call sales type videos. We want them to be professional because we don't want any distractions, right? If you're shooting it yourself, probably the sound isn't going to be great. Maybe the lighting isn't going to be amazing. Maybe you don't know how to edit, so it's going to be a little bit longer. And all of those things will take away from the focus. And the idea is to get to a real psychological level here with your end user and get them in and out. Because as soon as we get their name and email, that's great because now we can put them onto our nurturing list, right? Our marketing list. And we have a way to market to them. So opt-in is... is so you got to have opt-in. That's, yeah. that's number one, right? Mm -hmm. So that's so, the type. I, I'm, just, I'm just trying to, that's to the reiterate. Type. So that's Absolutely. the type. The sales video or the, 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 the examples of the sales videos will be one for the opt-in page. What are the uh -huh. other? Because you're basically the, selling them into your list, right? Right. right. The you're other bringing one, them. Yeah, you're bringing them on. You haven't sold them anything yet. But in terms of like conversion, we want yeah. that video to convert. The next type of video I say people have to have is what I call a strategy session video. Um, this, you know, is often referred to um, in the coachy coach world as a as a consultation. You know, if you get on the phone. Uh, discovery, what else? Is it? A discovery, discovery session. session That's, consultation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And what do you think the goal of that video is? If we've done that video right, what happens at the end of that video? To bring the person into the consultation, which, which you're gifting. And then if it's the right fit for both of you, then you get a client. Yes. And if not, then it's not, you know, but yeah. and that's a way to find out. You as the service provider, listen, one of the things, you know, we try to tell people around here is that, you know, if you make t 10 sales calls or discovery session calls, strategy session calls, if you sell two people and convert them, you're doing great. You know what yeah. I mean? It, it, it's, you're going to yeah. get a lot more no's and that's why it's harder to be an entrepreneur than it is to just go get a job, right? Yeah. So you've got to get thick skinned and you've got to get good at those, at those calls, those discovery session calls. So that's the type of, and you can imagine that video, if it's professionally produced, there's no distractions. It's on message. It leads them to a form where they get to fill out or, you know, go to a time trade link, let's say, to, to book a time with you. Mm -hmm. We don't want any distractions. We want it to be clean and uplifting. And we want them to feel like I'm excited to talk to this person because I've had this problem for a while and I believe they can solve my problem. Right. So we've got an opt in. We got a strategy session or yeah. a discovery session video. The next types of videos really is, is somewhat of a category because it's going to be something in regards to promotion. So let's say you're doing a one day event or a three day event. You uh -huh. would want a professional video to advertise or promote that event. Let's say you do a, a webinar um, or maybe a, a Zoom coaching seminar but you know you're going to do that like every four weeks or every six weeks. Uh -huh. You would want an evergreen type video to promote that uh -huh. upcoming webinar. And you would keep it evergreen basically by saying something to the effect of, and I can't wait to show you what I know about keeping the weight off. Just look for the information below and I'll see you in the next class. Right? Yeah. So that, that's one of those that, you can, you know, make once and literally you have it for two, three years, assuming nothing dramatically changes, mm -hmm. right? Unless you change the target <clears throat> audience or change the... the exactly. Yeah. But it's yeah, really one of those professional videos that can really pay dividends over the long haul. Um, and then the only other lesson from here is to basically go, when am I selling? If I've got a group program, if I run a mastermind retreat, those types of videos, I would want them to be professionally produced so that there's no distractions. Now, in the meantime, you're doing Facebook lives, you're doing videos on the go. We'll go back to the health coach. Uh, I, I walk into, you know, like a Whole Foods kind of a thing and I, I just take my phone, right? And I'm basically going to go to the camera, right? 
and I'm going to set it up like this, right? You could even see, see me there. Yeah. And I'm like, Hey, this is Jimbo. I am in the organic produce because you know, I love organic produce. Can't have any of that pesticides sprayed all over your vegetables and fruits. But I want to give you a quick recipe for kale chips. Okay. A little, a little right? bit, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. 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 I, I want to give you, I want to give you a quick recipe for kale chips. The only thing you do, kale chips are so good, crunchy, easy. You take them, you break them into little bitty leaves, dab a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper, bake, bake them about 425 for about 10 to 15 minutes. They come out crunchy and delicious. Listen, <laughs> you want more stuff like that. <laughs> Visit me at imahealthcoach.com, right? Oh, my God. Jimbo, that's why I love you so much. It's like it's, it seems to be so easy. So, you guys, if you if you think it's complicated, it's not. Listen to Jimbo. Well, let, let me give you a little behind-the-scenes story. Of course. It's a lot of experience. Yeah, yeah it's a lot of experience. I, I shoot with about 200 people a year, right? So, I'm constantly doing just like any of the coaches out there, you know, you, you teach some of your material over and over. You're like a stand up comic that you're, you know, it's a new audience. Right. Um, and it really is one of those things of, <clears throat> we say around here, you cannot be a success and be a secret. So it does not matter if you're shooting video with me <laughs> or someone else, if you're not making video, you are, falling further and further behind. Just being on Facebook alone is not enough, right? You have to be have a video presence that will get in somebody's feed that will that you can send out, right? That they can come to count on. And for me it's one of those things of like, look, if you've chosen to be an entrepreneur or it's chosen you, I guess some people would say, um there's going to be some uncomfortable moments. Video, listen, every time I watch a video back of me, I'm like, is my nose growing? Or what is going on with my smile? Right? Nobody's happy with themselves completely. We all have our inner demons that are, you know, mindsets of like, <clears throat> you're, you're too old, you're too this, your eyes are this way, it, it, right? The person, however, that's coming to you and they need your help for that weight loss, let's say, they're not seeing those things. No. They're obsessed with themselves. Exactly. <laughs> they're like obsessed everybody else. Yeah, like yeah, everybody yeah. else. They're, they're basically, basically like, hey, I can't fit in my jeans and this is depressing me. And I've Jim, got to do something. Jimbo, that was invaluable. Absolutely. Thank you for your generosity That's in fun. sharing. A quick question before um, before I have another one. But you, when you were kind of briefly getting into your story at the beginning of the conversation, mm -hmm. you said that you you didn't want to be seen, and that was one of the fears that you had. Yeah. What happened? Like, how did you get in uh, in front of the camera for the first time? Like, somebody pushed you, or was that a necessity? So that for, yeah. because a lot of people. No they feel that so what happened to you what's the magic well unfortunately there's no magic here's what had happened i uh i told you i went to that lisa sasevich event right. in 2009 changed my whole life um i ended up joining sassy and i that sassy is one of the programs that lisa, that lisa sasevich, sasevich has. does yeah mm -hmm. and it was a great decision for me and i really joined because here's why I saw that she was able to put a large group of people in the space. into this group, right? That joined. And I was like, holy moly, they're paying a lot of money to join this lady. Mm -hmm. Surely some of them need video. Right? I was like, I'm going to use this as a marketing tool. But here's what happened. I started like really getting into some mindset stuff. And it, this is going to sound crazy. I don't even think I told you where. But I, um, I, because I had done so many infomercials and this is kind of another rabbit hole, but I'd done so many medical infomercials like dental shows, cosmetic dentistry, dental implants. I knew I had what's called a cross bite. Mm -hmm. So slowly, but surely because of this cross bite, mm -hmm. my, uh, my teeth were eroding away part of my teeth over here. Okay. So I went and got this surgery and it split my palate. And I have these crazy pictures. It gave me black eyes. 
and my my two front teeth were like <clears throat> I ended up getting braces and so if you see some uh-huh. of these videos out there and here's what I thought I thought you know what I'm never going to look this ridiculous and so I started making videos <laughs> and I'm That's too- yeah, I tend to have this personality where it's kind of shocking. Mm-hmm. Like I'll do things like I've got to jump off that cliff, cliff with a bungee cable just to scare me into something. <laughs> and it's I don't like, know what it is. Exactly. <laughs> but I, do that kind of stuff. <laughs> I to- I'm totally with you. I went I went mm. skydiving because of for the same reason. See? For the same reason. It's, it's like you prove to yourself that I'm going to do it exactly. and you, you end up okay. And so the funny oh thing is, is I started making these videos and I'm going, you know, at the time, that time in my life, I was probably going to, you know, anywhere from seven to 10 events a year. And I'm showing up at events and people are like, oh my gosh, I love those videos. Yeah. And, and here's what the funny thing was. I just wanted to make people smile. I, to me, if I can make you laugh, it, I'm just happy you know, and it was working. So I started going, it doesn't matter what I look like. If I can make people smile and that would be like, look, if I could leave somebody with a message, it's like, look, you've got a gift. If you're watching us here, you've got a gift. And by hiding, you're doing a disservice to the world. Wow. I was going to ask you, because there is a section at the end of each program that I'm doing. What's your jam? What is that one jam that you can share? I think that was it. You just just (laughs) said it. You just said it. You've got a gift, guys. You've got a gift. And actually, Gene Boy has a gift, which I I cannot. (laughs) I cannot wait to hear all about it. Can you share it? Yeah, absolutely. And and again, thank you so much for letting me share this with your people. Uh, It's called Attack of the Video Hack. It's kind of a funny name. It's a five uh, video module course that teaches you just about everything I could teach you in regards to video, unless I was right there operating the camera. What I love about it is it even video one, I was just telling you about it. Yeah. Um, we go through all, uh, uh, we teach you really how to set up a 21 day drip sequence. And if you aren't familiar with that, basically here's, here's the idea. We talked about the opt-in video. Once they get into your list, the idea is you need to date them for, for a given time period. And you need to have it systematically done so that you can actually measure results. Because the truth is, if you don't measure the things you're doing, you won't know if it's working. So if you've got a gift that you think is good, but it turns out you're not measuring the results or how people are using it, it doesn't really matter. So we teach you through that. Then I'm going to teach you everything um, that should go into a, a script, a great marketing script. And I'll give it to you real quick. Three elements in a great marketing.